we're above freezing, so the roads aren't. The pavement temperature yeah. is, right? Yeah. yeah. The temperature itself is right at 32, so now we're getting it to that critical time. As we were talking about, after 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, we start to see it teeter a little bit more. But right now, the current temperature is 32. As you mentioned, Chris, some of the stuff you need in the car. Wind chill down to 29, so the winds aren't that strong. That's good news. If you look here, you can see more good visibility across the plaza, mainly because there are some more pockets and holes in the snow as opposed to being continuous. It is freezing in Olathe, 30 in Atchison, 29 degrees in Hiawatha, 32 in Trenton. As you go farther south, above 32 degrees, like Belton at 34. Same for Lacine, Garnett at 32. Also Warrensburg at 32 degrees, today at 33. Road temperatures, this is critical. Just something that we can monitor and look at. Lawrence is out at freezing, below freezing out toward Ottawa and Garnett, above freezing in the green, which does include the Kansas City Metro, very close to it. Then farther to the east and southeast, still almost pavement temperatures near 40 degrees. So that's why it's sticking to grass first and not as much on the roads, but anything elevated like bridges and overpasses, as you saw with that spin out, that's a different matter. And look at what's happening. On the last few frames of first alert clouds and radar, there's some blue and then there's a lot more gray. So it is falling apart. It may be out of here before two in the morning. Not much additional accumulation expected. First alert future scan, one of our models we like to use here, definitely shows that trend of downward progression. This is now 2.30 in the morning, still a few hangers on, mainly on the Missouri side. Kansas side, you're probably gonna clear out from the snow earlier, but still gonna have the clouds. A little bit of patchy fog because of these light winds we have going on. This is now seven in the morning. We're done with the snow until you go farther east of even Marshall in Sedalia and still a mostly cloudy day. 12 hour forecast. The temperatures don't fluctuate much at all. Fog in the morning, then clouds the rest of the day. Three o'clock temperature 37. Wind chills down into the upper 20s and then a few flurries and wraparound stages. But again, no additional accumulation toward the evening hours. But we are talking about impacts. We've been saying this for over a week now. We are looking for winter driving conditions. This is Monday into Tuesday. Accumulating snow is more than we're getting tonight. And because it's a stronger system, poor visibility and some gusty winds up to 40 miles per hour. Here it is on first alert future scan. Look at the low pressure center, see where it's currently positioned. It'll be moving out of the Four Corners region into the Southern Plains, dot sitting some of that snow. This is now seven in the morning on Monday. And if you look here, we're in the, uh, the green that is, and that's gonna be more rain than anything else. So it starts off as rain with the current projection. As the low continues to push farther to the east and northeast, eventually we're going to get into a mix and then it turns to all snow. This will be pre-dawn on Tuesday, so the bulk of some of this activity will probably be happening during the wee hours of the morning and still continuing into Tuesday. But at that point in time, I still think we'll see some of that wraparound stage and we will see some accumulation out of it. So keep it here. We're going to keep you updated. Katie's in tomorrow morning looking at the latest information. Pete's here in the evening to get you through it. But first thing is, Pick day of the weekend, Sunday. No mention of anything, but Monday into Tuesday, getting ready for that system I just showed you. Highs in the 30s and only 32 degrees on Tuesday, meaning, yeah, it's going to stick. As we're heading toward Wednesday, 36 degrees, cooling down significantly, much colder air. Look at next weekend. Single digits in the morning, afternoon highs only in the 20s. Winter is here for a while, and even another chance of snow before that happens by next Friday. Well, yet another way to stay ahead of changing weather. Watch our latest first alert weather forecast anytime on demand with our very local app. Just scan the QR code right there on your screen for the download. Very local is available for your smartphone, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, and other streaming devices.